this may be the sign that you need to heal, that you need to separate yourself from them, that you need to not only heal from them, but heal from yourself. You may need to heal from your past. You may need to heal from your anxiety, your depression. You may need to heal from and make decisions that's going to better you. You may need to break up from somebody. You may need to get rid of somebody. You may need to, you know, sit alone, be in your own thoughts. You may need to reflect on your life. You may need to look back on, you know, what you've been through. And it's okay to want to look back and to reflect on what you've been through. You need that space to clear your head, to clear your mind. You need that space to just be one with yourself. But not only one with yourself, but to be with God. A lot of times we don't give ourselves that space to heal because we feel like we can just keep taking on battles and battles and battles. And we feel like, you know, even though we got the weight of the, sh you know, weight of the world on our shoulders, that we can just keep enduring, enduring without even looking back and healing. And everyone and a lot of people think that they can just keep taking it and think that, you know, yes, life goes on, but they think that time heals and that time, you know, is something that we can just keep going along with and keep doing what we're doing and that we'll be able to fully heal from what we've been through. But that's just not the case. You're gonna have to take steps in different directions to heal. Because everything starts in the mind. If you can't heal your mental, you know, your physical, your psych, your psyche, psychological. If you can't fix your mind, those traumas will continue to take over. You'll start. You'll continuously have bad dreams. You continuously have bad visions. You continuously won't be able to change your life for the better. We feel as though the healing doesn't need to be taking place. That as sometimes even as men, because majority of men watch my channel. That the majority of the time as men, even 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 females, men 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 and female, right? Man and woman, right? We think that we can just continuously endure and enduring, you know, yes, that's gonna build character. That's that's cool. Like it it builds character, it builds strength. Da 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 da. But at the end of the day, wounds still have to be cleansed. Wounds need peroxide. Wounds need to be cleaned off, need to be restitched, need to be healed. And yes, the best thing to do for you is to take that time to cleanse those wounds. You don't give yourself enough grace. You don't give yourself that space to heal. Give yourself that time and that energy to heal. We're always on go mode. Bro, you're always on go mode. You don't just take the time out of your day, whether you work a nine to five job, whether you, you know, you with your girlfriend or your girl with, you know, you with your boyfriend, you and your relationships, you, you know, you with, you're doing different things, going to parties and all this stuff and you drinking, you getting high, whatever. And you, you still, you still, you can do all these fun things, but at the end of the day, your wounds are not cleansed. You still have those wounds and those wounds are deep, bro. Them wounds are dang near to your heart. They dang near near your heart, bro. You don't know how, if you can't take the time to cleanse and to heal, you will never be able to get to where you want in life. We all got wounds. We all have wounds. Even spiritual wounds. I think the worst wounds you can have are mental and spiritual wounds. Physical, like physical wounds, you know, if you have a strong mental, you'll be able to get over it. But even then, when people say get over it, people tell you that oh you're a man like deal with it that's how the world sees it that's what the world's gonna tell you the world ain't gonna tell you to cry you know what i'm saying the world's not gonna tell you that it's okay to cry the world's not gonna tell you that it, you know 
it's okay to to heal, to want to heal, to have that space to heal, to to do your own thing, to be away for a while, to be to go ghost. Like that's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. Even 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 people that fast, like spiritually fasting, like people need to fast so they can so we can really open their heart and their mind and to allow them to reflect and to you know get a deeper understanding of their wounds and their you know what they need to do to heal you need to take that necessary step especially if you're you know if you're hurting right now a lot of people in this world are hurting and if you're one of them i advise you to do whatever you have to do to give yourself some space some alone time and do whatever you have to do to heal because at the end of the day you yourself you're your one being you're you and if you can't if you can't hear yourself if you can't heal yourself at all you can't take those necessary steps you will never be a fully capable human being Trauma is going to continuously let you down. You know, a past relationship is going to continuously come back into your mind to hurt you. Something traumatic is going to continuously mess with your psyche. Take those necessary steps to heal. But I appreciate y'all. Welcome to the Brother and Sisterhood. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below for more content like this. Make sure you know. Make sure you learn to heal take time to heal my brother appreciate you for watching god bless